When a stroke starts, it typically happens because a blood clot plugs up an artery that supplies blood flow to the brain. During a stroke, each minute we lose 1.9 million brain cells. The fewer brain cells that one loses, the more likely a person is to have a good recovery from their stroke. The difference between surviving a stroke and being treated for stroke is really dramatic. Most people would end up either at home requiring assistance from their family for basic activities or in a nursing home, fully dependent on other people for things like feeding and bathing and dressing. When a patient uh, is effectively treated for stroke, it's not uncommon for them to leave the hospital a couple days later with no neurologic deficits, fully independent and able to care for themselves. We now know that taking the clot out of the brain is the best way to fix a stroke as quickly as possible and maximize it. Time is brain, which means that the faster we can restore blood flow to the brain, the more likely a person is to have a good recovery after a stroke. Historically speaking, if you had a tumor in your kidney or in your lung or in your liver, a surgeon would go in and either take out your kidney or they would take out that lobe of your lung or maybe your whole lung or that portion of your liver. It's associated with long recoveries, painful recoveries, a lot of complications. And now using interventional radiology, we're able to to put a probe directly through the skin into a tumor and then apply thermal energy. We can either freeze the tumor or we can literally boil it right in place. We take our probes out, you go home from the hospital the same day, and oftentimes you're cured of your cancer. Wyoming Medical Center is fighting for the people of Wyoming. We're fighting strokes, cancer, trauma, and other life-threatening situations. We're improving patient outcomes and long-term quality of life all right here in Wyoming, so patients and their families don't have to travel to larger, out-of-state hospitals. But to keep winning these battles, we need your help. The machine that's behind me is truly at end of life. It has helped us help a lot of people. We're still using the same interventional radiology equipment today that we were using when I got here 15 years ago. We've maintained a high level of excellence despite that, but it is well past time that we move move forward, put in place equipment that supports the highest level of care. We've gotten to a point where the technology has expanded to a place where we need more help. And when we need more help, we need more people and we need more equipment. And a bigger space will allow us to do that. In addition to equipment that needs replaced, the current space is too small. So patients have to be moved to different rooms across floors, which is both risky and slow. And when time is brain, slow isn't an option. The Wyoming Medical Center Foundation is raising $3 million to complete a comprehensive state-of-the-art interventional radiology suite that will improve efficiency and continuity of care. The equipment that we use to do mechanical thrombectomy, upgrading that equipment will allow us to move more quickly to remove dangerous blood clots from people's brains. The IR suite will also provide additional beds uh, which will allow us to accept all comers to our facility who are suffering from an acute stroke. This project is absolutely cutting edge to be able to meet our mission to improve the health and wellness of the residents of Wyoming. This technology will help us grow the service line for cancer patients acute arterial occlusion patients, trauma patients, stroke patients, pediatric care, you name it, the sky's the limit. And our ability to always say yes for a patient from a hospital that doesn't have the ability to care for that patient, it's our responsibility and it's our mission to be able to take all of those referrals and provide the highest level of care that we can for our residents in the state. And when the health of you or a loved one is on the line, nothing could be more important. What that will allow us to do is certainly optimize the care for the people in Wyoming. Does Wyoming need this? The answer to that question is no, until you do. And if you or your family member is the one who is in a car wreck, if you're the one who has cancer, and, or if you're the one who has a blocked off artery that needs to be treated or has a stroke, you're going to be awfully thankful that we have it right here.